Cooking Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making beef stir fry. So let's get started. Make sure you prep all of your ingredients ahead of time because it'll go really fast, okay? So you're going to need two 9 ounce strip steaks and that's what I have here. What you're going to do is you're going to find the way your grain runs, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me, my grain runs this way. So I'm going to cut it this way against the grain. That gives you very tender beef. So you're going to cut it on a diagonal like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this fat out because I don't like the fat in it. And I'm just going to cut it into strips. You can leave yours in big chunks um, if you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And while I'm cutting this, I'm going to explain a few things to you. You're going to need two bell peppers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, take the seeds out and that little white piece that goes through them. You're going to cut them kind of bite size. I only had mini peppers because I'm trying to clean out my refrigerator so I can go shopping this week. So mine are kind of small, but that's okay for me. The directions say to cook everything really fast so it's crunchy, but my family doesn't like crunchy um, vegetables. So I'm going to do mine a little bit longer, but I will explain the recipe to you. If you like more of a soft vegetable, then you're just going to cook it a little bit longer, okay? So you're going to need, like I said, two bell peppers, one large onion cut into pieces, three cloves of garlic um, chopped kind of bigger, don't make it real small because we don't want it to burn, okay? So let me finish cutting my steak and getting everything else ready and I'll get back to you. Okay, now I got all my stuff cut. <clears throat> We're gonna move on to our marinade. So you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then you're going to need three teaspoons of corn starch. Now the corn starch gives it a kind of a silky smooth on your tongue and the cornstarch makes it a little bit crispy. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. Then you're going to need one tablespoon of soy sauce. I have one open that's almost gone, so I'll use that up first. Okay, one tablespoon of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. It's rice wine. I couldn't find it so I looked it up on Google and it said to use this Mirin. It's a sweet cooking seasoning wine. So if you can't find that wine, you can just use this. And you're going to use one tablespoon of that. If you don't want to use any wine in your cooking, just use beef broth. Not a big deal. And then you're going to mix this all together. Make sure you whisk it really good. Okay, now I'm going to add my beef. And you're going to mix it with your hands because <clears throat> you want it coated all through the beef. you got to make sure all that beef is coated, okay? So just take your time and really get it good in there. It doesn't look like enough um, mixture, but once you get the beef in, you'll see it's fine. There's plenty of uh, marinade in here. Just make sure you get it all nice and coated. And then I'm going to set this to the side to sit for a couple of minutes. measuring spoons out because you're going to need them for your next sauce which will be the stir fry sauce. We'll do that in a minute. Ok, 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my stove. Now if you have a large non-stick like fry pan, go ahead and use that. But I don't have a really big one, so I'm going to use my um, big pot that is non-stick. So what you're going to do is you're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to this. And you're going to cook these veggies for, um, let me see. For about, they say your garlic and your onion for 30 seconds. Now, like I said, I like my stuff soft. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It says hi. I'm going to do mine on medium because I just want to get my stuff soft. So I'm going to throw in my onions. If you like them crispy, then follow the directions, okay? This is a you-do-you you recipe, which is excellent. I'm going to add my peppers. I'm going to save my garlic till the end because I don't want it to burn. You actually only need to cook garlic for about 30 seconds or until you start to smell it. I also have some leftover broccoli I'm going to throw in there. This is not on the thing. I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to clean out my refrigerator. So I'm going to stir that really good. And I'm going to let this cook until it's to my tenderness. Now while our vegetables are cooking, we're going to make our stir fry sauce. So you need three tablespoons of oyster sauce. You can find this in the grocery store in the um, Chinese section. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce. wine, Chinese wine. Okay. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of soy. Now, this is tamari, and this recipe calls for light soy and dark soy. I couldn't find light. Tamari is perfect for both, so just buy tamari. It's not as salty. It's a little bit sweeter and lighter than the regular soy. Okay, so we need two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, and then this says a half teaspoon of dark soy. I'm just going to use this. Doesn't matter. Okay. The dark is just to, for color, really. All right, and then we need two teaspoons of sugar, a one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. One. I'm just going to do a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. And then you need two teaspoons of white vinegar. This smells amazing. Now this vinegar helps with the sweet of the sugar and the sweetness of the wine, it'll balance it out, okay? So we're gonna mix that together. Really good, and then we're just gonna set it to the side until we're ready to use it. Now once your vegetables are to your liking, we're going to add our garlic, okay? 
And we're just going to cook this until it's fragrant. About 30 seconds. Just stir it around. Now what I did to make my vegetables um, a little bit softer is I put about one tablespoon of water in with the oil and I put a lid on them and I just cooked them until they were to my liking. Like I said, if you don't like them soft, follow the directions. Alright, so now you're going to move all your veggies to the side of your pan. And we're going to put our meat in. Stir that meat around, kind of flatten it out so it all gets cooked really quickly. We're trying to cook quick. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher. So we're going to try and sear this for about two minutes. In the meantime, you're going to cut up two scallions or green onions really small on a diagonal just keep that to the side that's for our finishing Like I said, the meat would go a lot faster if I had a, a bigger, um, <clears throat> like, fry pan. So while that's cooking the meat, I have some leftover mushrooms that I cooked for a pizza party we had over the weekend. I'm going to throw some of those in. Just a few, not too much. I hate to waste food. Alright, so I put some mushrooms in there. Just going to let them warm up. They don't need to cook. They're already cooked. They're in their feet. Trying to get it on the bottom of the pan. Just keep turning it. Now we're going to add, you're just going to cook the meat just until it's brown because we're going to cook it for another 10 minutes when we add our stir fry sauce. So now's the time to add the stir fry sauce. This smells amazing you guys. I'm going to serve this over coconut rice. You can do noodles or rice, whatever you like. 
The um, recipe for the coconut rice will be linked down below. I've made it a few times before. So we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes and then we'll finish it off. All right, I think I misspoke. I think I said 10 minutes, it's 10 seconds or until the meat is and everything is coated really nice, okay? And then you're gonna add, when you, when you um, bowl this up, then you're gonna add green onion to the top of your meal. So you have a little bit of a crunch with all the other stuff. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.